welcome welcome dear student in one another session myself darshana sandeep sindhi from kk vag institute of pharmacy chanduri today we see the parasympathetic drugs or it is also known as the cholinergic blocking agents learning outcomes of our today's session after watching this video students should able to understand and recognize parasympathetic drugs mechanism of action of drug parasympathetic drug then pharmacological actions and adverse effect of parasympathetic drugs and therapeutic uses of parasympathetic drugs first of all we see what is meant by parasympathetic drugs parasympathetic drugs these are the drugs which block the action of the parasympathetic mimetic drugs mimetic action will be block parasympathetic drugs block the cholinergic receptor in the effect or organs supplied by cholinergic nerves then these drugs are in therapeutic doses block the only the muscarinic action of the acetylcholine these drugs are capable of block the action of the acetylcholine by blocking the muscarinic action this includes the atropine and related alkaloids and synthetic or semi synthetic atropine substitutes these are the parasympathetic drugs which are block the muscarinic action of the acetylcholine and these are the atropine compounds in that we see the belladonna alkaloids these alkaloids are present in the plant such as the atropa belladonna hyoscyamus nigrus and datura and include the atropine hyoscyamine and scopolamine mechanism of action it atropine competitively antagonize the acetylcholine at the muscarinic receptor atropine has a greater affinity for the muscarinic receptor than the dose does the acetylcholine but lack the efficiency in the initiating activity it does not interfere with the release of the acetylcholine at the cholinergic site thus the nicotinic action of the acetylcholine at the autonomic ganglia and the holentry muscle remain unaltered in this way atropine can block the muscarinic receptor by blocking the cholinergic site but it is not interfere with the release of the acetylcholine the muscarinic blockage produced by the atropine can be reversed by increasing the concentration of the acetylcholine at the muscarinic cholinergic sites if the muscarinic action is blocked if we increase the acetylcholine concentration then ultimately the action will be reverse atropine's action will be reverse then pharmacological actions in that first of all we see the action on the various secretions belladonna alkaloids reduces the secretion of the exocrine glands first of all salivary gland atropine can block the watery salivary secretion include the parasympathetic stimulations parasymp you know atropine can block the watery secretions this is effect on the salivary glands then the gastric secretions atropine can reduce the volume and total acidity of gastric secretions then in the uh, interdigestive secretions of the acids in the stomachs it diminish or may be completely blocked by the atropine atropine partially reduces the gastric secretions produced by the caffeine histamine and alcohol it reduces the secretion of the mucin and enzymes in the gastric juice and also block the secretion increased by the parasympathetic agents that means gastric secretions by the atropa will be or atropine will be uh, is reduced atropine's effect on the gastric secretion is that reduces the total acidity of gastric secretions by uh, it also reduces the mucin and enzyme then other secretions atropine reduces the secretion in the nasal pharynges also or nasal pharynges bronchi and also reduces the secretion of the sweat sweat secretion also decreases it has a little effect of the pancreatic intestinal secretions then we see the effect on smooth muscle 
first of all we see the effect on the gastrointestinal tract atropine reduces the tone and motility of the gastrointestinal tract it completely abolishes the excessive motility of the gastrointestinal tract induced by the parasympathomimetic agent motility is also abolished by the atropine it is it is only the partially effective in the blocking of the effect of the vagus nerve stimulation then it does not interfere with the normal peristalsis it is not interfere with the normal peristalsis movement but excessive motility due to the par para sympathomimetic drug will be abolished then effect on urinary tract atropine reduces normal as well as drug induced ureteral peristalsis then it reduces the tone of bladder muscle and tends to produce the urinary retention it also reduces the tone of the bladder muscle then effect on the bronchi atropine relaxes the smooth muscle of the bronchi particularly it is effective in the relieving the bronchospasm produced by the parasympathomimetic agent bronchospasm produced by the parasympathomimetic agent will be the uh, decrease by the atropine it is a reduce the secretion it is not recommended in the treatment of the bronchial asthma though it reduces the secretion it is not recommended in the bronchial asthma then effect on eye on local installation atropine produces the mitrasis it blocking or by blocking the cholinergic nerve supply the ciliary smooth muscles are likewise paralyzed by the atropine which causes the increase in the focal length of the lens thus the individual can see the things only at the long distance and thus the muscles of the sphincters of the iris are paralyzed and individual cannot constrict the pupil for the viewing the near objects or the response to be the bright light thus he suffer from the photophobia and this phenomenon is known as the paralysis of the accommodation or cycloplegia atropine thus produces the both mitrasis and cycloplegia mitrasis means the dilation of the pupil and cycloplegia uh, plegia in that the there is the paralysis of the ciliary muscles that's why the person cannot see the things from the long distance or above the six speeds and his vision is constrict one and he, and he can see only the nearer things that's why this condition is known as the cycloplegia which is occurred by the atropine then cardiovascular system atropine in the therapeutic doses may initially decrease the heart rate because of its partial agonist property the with the acetylcholine but it is followed by the tachycardia Car cardiac arrhythmia are rare atropine abolish the effect of parasympathetic agent on the heart then in therapeutic doses it is also counter the peripheral vasodilation and hypotension produced by the parasympathomimetic agents uh, on cardio cvs there is a if you uh, tachycardia increase in the heart rate uh, a cardiac arrhythmia is also seen but it is a rare one and atropine abolish the parasympathetic agent on the heart then toxic dose of the atropine produces the cutaneous vasodilation resulting in the atropine flush and hypotension it also causes the hypotension then effect on the central nervous system atropine in the therapeutic dose stimulate the medullary vagal nuclei thus causes the increase in the rate and the depth of the respiration thus antagonize the respiration respiratory depression caused by the dose of the anticholinesterase that means it causes the Uh, its therapeutic dose causes the medullary vagal nuclei to it stimulate the medullary medullary vagal nuclei and uh, increases the depth of the respiration after that adverse reactions uh, dryness of mouth difficulty in swallowing blurring of vision constipation retention of urine are some commonly encountered adver adverse reactions locally atropine are mainly show the allergic reaction such as the dermatitis 
in certain cases intolerance to the atropine it has also been reported it is included skin rash and dermatitis also acute belladonna poisoning here we see uh, atropine has wide margin of safety but serious atropine toxicity may also be occur especially in the children who are attracted to ingest the berries or seed of the belladonna plants it is by accidental the symptoms are mainly due to the muscarinic blockage and central action the effects of the muscarinic blockage include the mydriasis blurred vision dry mouth tracheocardia urinary retention and dry skin or uh, fever due to the sweat inhibition that is the mydriasis dilation of pupil blurred vision due to the cycloplegia dry mouth and tracheocardia these are the common uh, effects by the acute belladonna poisoning then central effects include the restlessness confusion weakness muscle incorporation hallucination that means the persons are able to see the water in his mind that is hallucination convulsions coma and finally respiratory depression and failure these are the reason for the belladonna um, the person may be dead by the belladonna poisoning that is the respiratory failure after that we see the treatment treatment should be instituted in dark room in order to relieve the photophobia then gastric lavage should be performed to remove the drug from the stomach then alkaloid inactivators such as the universal dose should be administered before and after the gastric lavage uh, administration of the anticholinesterase that is parasympathomimetic agents such as the uh, physostigmine may be given intramuscularly or subcutaneously root at the interval till the dryness of mouth is relieved then catheterization for the urinary retention uh, then the depression has been developed central nervous central stimulants can be used but cautiously if the depression is severe oxygen should be given with the 5% carbon dioxide artificial respiration should be given to the patient in case of severe respiration depression and the failure and intravenous fluid can also be given if necessary iv fluid should be given for maintaining the electrolyte balance in body therapeutic uses it can be used as a antispasmodic in the treatment of the gastrointestinal colic renal colic that means pain in the uh, kidney colic means pain Uh, urgency of the micturition micturition there is a small amount of u- urine for um, uh, retention to control the nectoral uh, neurosis in the children then belladonna serves as an effective therapy for the treating the peptic ulcer it is effective means for correcting the spasm of accommodation then it is useful for uh, produce the mydriasis and cycloplegia cycloplegia this is paralysis of the ciliary muscles resulting the loss of accommodation of the eye then as a p and pre anesthetic medication it is used as a pre anesthetic medication to reduce the salivation and respiratory tract secretion due to the irritant anesthetic agents in addition these alkaloids protect heart from the vagal inhibition hyoscine may also be induced the sedation in the treatment of the oga or organophosphorus compound in the treatment of the parkinson's uh, parkinsonism uh, it is also used as then hyoscine we see the next drug hyoscine hyoscine is an another important belladonna alkaloid it is a peripheral action similar to that of the atropine one central actions are somewhat different atropine initially stimulate and then depress the cns whereas hyoscine is essentially or entirely give the depressant action atropine in the therapeutic concentration produces the excitation while the increasing the concentration central excitation is followed by the depression and modulatory paralysis hyoscine in therapeutic doses causes the drowsiness amnesia fatigue and sleep both the drug in moderate doses they depress the function to reduce the motion sickness then in addition dryness of mouth sedations effect are also uh, useful to reduce the motion sickness uh, in this session we cover the point what is meant by parasympathetic drugs mechanism of action its pharmacological action adverse effect and therapeutic uses
थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच